dynamic economics, you will come across these two terms. X is a random variable and T is the time. If T is written in brackets, it generally denotes a continuous function. If T is written as a suffix, it denotes a discrete function. The concept of discrete time may be explained by the method of iteration. Iteration means repetition. An iterative method is a repetitive process to generate a sequence of outcomes. Consider this example. If t is the time period, delta t equal to 1 means a change in time by one unit. If the current time is represented by t, the previous time by one period will be represented by t minus 1 and the future time by one period will be represented by t plus 1 and so on. If delta yt is the change in y at time t, where t is the current period, we can write delta yt is equal to yt plus 1 minus yt. This is called the first difference. That is the change in y in current period will be equal to the difference between the value of y in immediate next successive period and the value of y in current period. Can you write the expression for the change of y in period t plus 1? Delta y t plus 1 can be written like this. So, if we want to find the change of y for two successive periods from t to t plus 2, we may write delta y t plus 1 minus delta y t. Let us simplify this further. So after simplifying we get delta square yt. This is called the second difference. Repeating this process till the nth difference, the nth difference may be represented by delta to the power n yt. Equations that involve such differences with discrete time are called difference equations. Let us see what can be the different types of difference equations. This is the general form of an nth order linear difference equation. A linear difference equation is a difference equation in which each of the terms has a degree 0 or 1. This is a first order rational difference equation. A rational difference equation is in the form of a ratio. This is a first order matrix difference equation and this is a second order matrix difference equation. Y is a vector of order n by 1. A and B are matrices of order n by n. So a matrix difference equation is a difference equation that has vectors or matrices in its equation. You have studied in the previous videos that discrete time is often used in empirical study involving time series data. Difference equations are used to study different economic models such as autoregressive or AR models, vector autoregression or VAR models, and autoregressive moving average or 
ARMA models. The autoregressive model specifies that the output depends linearly on its own previous values and on a stochastic term and is in the form of a stochastic difference equation. A moving average is a series of averages used with time series data to smooth out short term fluctuations and highlight long term trends or cycles. These time series concepts are studied in details in a different branch of economics called econometrics. Econometrics means economic measurements. In this course, we will discuss how the first order and second order difference equations can be used to solve economic problems.